In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate myofascial release for the lumbosacral region in a prone position. So for this technique, we're going to place one hand on the lumbar spine and one hand on the sacrum. And you can uh, position your hands either horizontal or vertical with making contact on the lumbar spine and then on the sacrum. You'll palpate down to the fascial layer and then you'll move in all of the different directions of motion for the fascia. Superior, inferior, right, left, clockwise, and counterclockwise. Now for each of these areas, the lumbar and the sacral area, you can go in independent directions or in the same direction. So you can test both directions and then test opposite directions. So superior and inferior, inferior and superior. You can test opposites in terms of right and left. You can also test opposites in terms of counterclockwise and clockwise in both directions. Your goal is to try to find for each area in combination the three planes of freedom of motion and restriction of motion. So for my patient, I find that the lumbar and sacral region move inferiorly, they both move to the left, and I find with a clockwise motion in both hands, I find the greatest freedom of motion. Now, if I wanted to treat that indirectly, I would hold in that position of freedom. If I wanted to treat it directly, then I would reverse those positions with superior motion to the right and then counterclockwise. And I, my goal is to appreciate the tension, not only in the lumbar spine, not only in the sacrum, but also the tension between my hands in the lumbosacral junction. Whether I choose to treat it directly or indirectly, I will hold that treatment position. And as I'm holding that treatment position, I'm palpating and observing for any myofascial creep or any change in tension. As any change in tension occurs, I can follow that change in tension, follow the direction of that change, and follow the myofascial unwinding until I reach a neutral position. As well, if I'm holding this position, I would limit my time up to two minutes, and then I would return the tissues back to neutral and then reassess my various motions. 